yeah, I'm, this is just a, a, a vlog of what's been happening with me lately. Um, took a whole bunch of different video clips and stuff like that and put them all together. Um, hopefully it's not too long and you can hang out to the end and stick around. Hopefully this works or I'm holding it in the right spot. Um, this is my very last field trip. Monday's my last day of work. Um, I didn't get to use my bus. I had to bring the little mini bus this time. And, uh, yeah. So, everybody's kind of sad and bummed that I'm that I'm leaving, but that's the best thing for my family and, and what I need to do. Um, can't think of much to say, but I thought I'd do a little, a little video clip of, uh, me in the, in the sped bus, in the little mini bus, and, uh, yeah, so high school track, and I'll put some video clips of some of the kids, um, so I'm just sitting in the bus waiting for him to, waiting for him to get back on the bus so we can head home. Hi, I don't know if you can hear me or not. <laughs> Just wanted to get in and uh, show you guys um, on my bus ride this morning. Um, one of the boys made a uh, card. I guess he made it over the on Thursday, I think. And uh, this morning when he was on the bus, he gave it to me. And uh, it's probably backwards in the video, but I don't know if it is or not. But uh, he had all the kids sign it on the bus this morning. As I was reading it, I <laughs> as I as I was reading it this morning, I couldn't help but but uh, start to tear up. Not sure what this afternoon is gonna be like. The last bus ride, the last bus ride home, and and uh, all the little people were saying they didn't want me to leave and. Some of the um, fifth, fifth, sixth, and seventh graders, um, the boy that made this card, and a couple other uh, boys, uh, thought that. <laughs> oh, and if you're wondering where I am, I'm in my on my back porch, um, rooster, and uh, <laughs> they said they were gonna chain me to my my uh, driver's seat to chain me to the bus so I couldn't leave. Makes you feel special. Why is it I'm gonna be I'm gonna be all over the place today. <laughs> it's just been one of those days for some reason. I don't know why. Why is it that when you go to buy condiments, you know, like ketchup, relish, mayonnaise, that kind of thing, why does it seem like they only have one kind and it's not the kind that you need? I don't know. A little bit of a little bit of a rant here. Could not find well, I finally did after I stood there for 20 minutes. Relish. Dill relish. I was like, a whole wall of sweet relish. Some people might like that, but just it, that's not me. <laughs> I'm, I'm a dill person. I, I like to make tuna fish sandwich or, or tuna fish on crackers. You know, that kind of thing is a healthy snack. And I don't know. I went in there and the whole wall... The whole section of, you know, of relishes or, or sandwich spreads or whatever it was, was there was one choice for dill relish. One choice. And it was this inky dinky little container. So I'm like, okay, I guess I don't need to make a lot of it. So, <coughs> okay. 
I don't know, just one of those things that kind of... Because I was looking all over the place, and finally I went up to the front of the store, and I'm like, uh, do you have any dill relish? Because I didn't see any back there. And she's like, oh yeah, it's on so and so such an aisle, you know, halfway down and stuff. And so I went back there and walked up and down that area section. And uh, I finally found it. But yeah, anyways, that, that you know, anyways. Um, my last day of school, or last day of work, driving school bus, it went okay. Uh, the kids seemed to be, you know, a little bit upset. One of the, one of the boys, it was funny. I think it'll be in another video. I talked about it. But, uh, yeah, I will definitely be missed by a majority of the people that I, that I work for. Um, but, uh, yeah, this afternoon, thankfully nobody cried. I didn't cry. <laughs> Felt like crying this morning, but I didn't cry. Uh, I brought popsicles. I brought a cooler with ice in it, and, and I bought a bunch of popsicles over the weekend. And so as they got off the bus, um, they each got a popsicle, so they were happy about that. Um, oh, and if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking down at notes. A um, little bit about me. Um, lived in Oregon almost all my life. Uh, I think we moved from Washington when I was maybe a year old. I'm not sure. So, for the most part, I've lived in Oregon all my life. I have uh, two kids. I have a stepson that's 20. My daughter's 13. Um, she's in 8th grade. Uh, my husband drives a uh, delivery truck. We have three dogs, two cats. I think we have with the chicks that I just got, I think we have about 20, let's see, at least 20, maybe more chickens. Um, I think a couple of them, couple, couple of the baby chicks that we have, we didn't think a couple of them are roosters. So we already have one rooster that's outside and that's all we're going to have. So um, anytime we get baby chicks and uh, we have a few that are roosters, um, if they become roosters, we always we always tell everybody that they're going to go to freezer camp, and I you know if you don't know what freezer camp is, uh, yeah. So they go to freezer camp and they don't ever come back. You know what else? Why my my oldest beagle is on um, diet dog food because she's overweight, and so we put her the vet put her on this prescription diet, and. It gives her gas. Oh my lord, does it give this dog gas. I don't know, it maybe it like puffs her up so where she feels full or what, but she just, I mean, she hasn't had it for a while because we haven't been able to afford it and my husband, where my husband works, if some something comes back or something and uh, it's expired or whatever, you know, dog food does expire. It's kind of odd because you know what? It it still tastes the same. It doesn't, but I guess after it's been so long on the shelf, they can't sell it because it's some fresh freshness thing or something. I don't know. Um, but there was two bags of, of this diet prescription dog food. And so he asked his boss, he's like, can I have these? And he's like, yeah, sure. Go ahead, take them. And hey, free dog food. How can you beat it? Oh, got a question out there for all you dog people. I don't know. What can I do or any strategies on how to stop my dog from jumping up on things? But her new thing is to jump up on the stove, not like on the stove, but like put her paws on where the, the, the knobs are to turn on the stove. We have gas. We have a gas, natural gas stove. And I was doing something, um, in the kitchen over the weekend and there's like a space in front of where our microwave is where you can use it like a counter space and then the stove's right there so carmen jumps up and paws the gas stove on well i don't really think nothing of it and all of a sudden my husband walks in the kitchen and he's like you smell that i'm like yeah and so like goes over to the stove and he's like oh well the gas is on so he turns it off. I didn't think nothing of it. Maybe I bumped it with my, you know, my hip. And 
she's standing there again. You know, like jumps up and puts her paws on the knobs of the stove. And I hear the stove, you know, come on. It doesn't, she turns the gas on, but you have to push in to do the ignition, you know. And so that's her new talent is to turn the gas on. So when we're not home, um, they're in the back hallway and then there's and a doggy door, that kind of thing. So they can be in the hallway where the baby gate is and on a blanket or they can go outside and it's all secured and everything. So when I'm at home and then are not at home, that's where they are. So she can't access the gas and that kind of thing. Cause God forbid if we <laughs> drive up the driveway and there's no house cause we all blew up. <laughs> so if anybody has any ideas on how to curb a, a larger dog from jumping up on things, I'd appreciate it. Uh, really awesome, funny lady. Um, her name was Pam. Uh, she started in a new channel and uh, um, she does a, a daily vlog quite a bit and uh, <laughs> she has this really uh, she has a cat his name is Nigel and he likes to <laughs> walk in front of her her camera all the time and uh, I don't know he's got his own really neat personality um, hey fam and uh, so he's always goof around and stuff and uh, she just does a daily vlog and and uh, don't know quite that I'll get into a daily vlog, but uh, I think we'll see how long the weekly thing goes. Um, I like her a lot. And then every once in a while she does vlogs um, about how her day is and, and that kind of thing or stuff that's going on with her. Um, but she um, does, she shares her crochet, her crocheting and her projects and stuff that she's made. Um, her name is uh, Zelda NRJ3. She goes by Z. And I've been watching her videos for a really long time and uh, and stuff. So, hey Z. Um, I also watch the Turbo Knitter. I am so horrible with names. Can't think of what his name is for top of, right off the top of my head. But I watch him every time he puts out a video, I watch him. Um, he is an EMT. He works on the ambulance. And uh, he knits. And does um, charity knitting and um, he uh, my dog is sleeping under the table and she's barking in her sleep weird um, but he knits hats and, and things and gives them to charity people that people that people that need them that kind of thing so he does a lot of that and then there's this really awesome lady her name is um, her name is sunshine and every once in a while um, her channel is sunshine Sorry if I butcher your name. H A R R A L S O N. I'm not even gonna try that because I'm not good with names. Um, but she's in, I think she lives in Texas, and she just more or less tells it like it is. I mean, you know, she just tells it like it is, and and she crochets and and um, does uh, sewing. She does these beautiful quilts and everything, and so. Um, I think she also did a thing called Wreck This Journal or something that she was doing for a while. And uh, she just does a, a, a vlog every once in a while and I just like her. She's she's cool to watch. Um, I crochet, have crocheted for four years. I think the dog wants out. The dog is in the bedroom, probably eating all the cat food from, because the dog is in my daughter's room so he's probably eating all she's probably eating all the cat food and now she's wanting to get out um i probably tried to knit with her in that same period of time but really actually through youtube videos and and you know through just practicing and stuff maybe actually been i would say moderately good enough to make an object maybe the last six months well um i guess that's it for now um probably see you next week and uh have a great day. May God bless you.